What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked battles for Pokemon Sword. As always, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we're actually not doing single ranked battles. We're actually rocking out, doing some doubles. This is actually my first time doing doubles battles, so if you have any tips or tricks for me for doubles battles, let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, the team that we're actually rocking out today is a Trick Room team with a Wiki Berry Togekiss. We have a Weakness Policy Rhyperior right here. This thing can absolutely shred. We have our Magic Bounce Aguave Berry. Had a read right here with Trick Room set up on it so we can set it up and start sweeping out teams. We also have this Chandelure with a Focus Sash also running Trick Room. So once we get this Trick Room set up, we can actually start shredding out the competitions. It's just five turns of both of our Pokemon going first. That's how good this team is. This team is also rocking a Vickable with an Ipapa Berry, Rocket T Bolt, Bug Buzz, Discharge, and Protect. All these Pokemon mainly have Protect. Most of them do. So it is such a good move in double. So that's why we're rocking it. And then one of my favorites for this team, we're rocking a Moxie Assault Vest Scrappy right here with Drain Punch, Fake Out, Crunch, and Ice Punch. This thing can absolutely shred out competition and do some work. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I will also leave links to other rental teams in the description below. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite mainline Pokemon game? For me, I'm actually stuck between Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I'd love to see what your guys' favorites are. But without further ado, let's get on with these battles. Hopping into battle number one right here. This guy's rocking a Whimsicott, Gardevoir, Flareon, Inteleon, Darmanitan, and a Hitmonchan. Wow! What a team right here to start off. Um, we're definitely going to be leading our Chandelure right here. Chandelure is a great lead considering he's rocking that Focus Sash and Trick Room. So if only one Pokemon hits him and it hit him hard, we can use that Focus Sash, survive, get that Trick Room off because this team thrives under Trick Room. You guys will see, once we get Trick Rooms off, it's basically five turns of us dominating. And if they don't survive those five turns, whoo, basically a W for us. So Chandelure is going to rock that front spot. And then who are we going to bring in with him? Who are we going to bring in with the Chandelure? I can see us bringing in that Vickavolt. Do we go Vickable? Hmm. Yeah, let's bring Vickable in case he leads with that Inteleon. Maybe try to set up like a light screen or something. Then we're going to go with Hatrine in the back and Sh Scrafty. Yeah, and Scrafty rocking that tail end. So let's do that. Let's do that. Chandelure rocking out that front spot. Vickable coming in. And then Hatterene and Scrafty reeling up the back end. But Rhyperior is such a good Pokemon. I would use him. I usually decide between Scrafty and Rhyperior like with a matchup like this. But I went with Scrafty. I went with Scrafty in this battle. Scrafty can do some absolute work. He also has Moxie, so if people hit him, his attack's gonna like race through the roof. We'll be able to dominate. But guys, if you like to catch more content from me, make sure you go in the link in the description below. Twitch, my link to my Twitch page is there. Genius25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button, swing by later. But this guy leads a Flareon and a Gardevoir. Flareon and Gardevoir. I can see that Flareon actually rocking Heat Wave. But he's gonna go after my what's it called? He's gonna go straight for my what's it called? My Vickable. But I feel like my Vickable can actually take up a hit. So we're going to go straight into a Trick Room here. And then, sh sh do we go for a T-Bolt? Yeah, we're going to go for a T-Bolt. Who are we going to go on? The Gardevoir? I think we might go on the Gardevoir. Considering I'm not too worried about that Flareon. I'm really not too worried about that Flareon. So we're going to go off on this Gardevoir. Try to get a Paralyze on him. But Gardevoir's going to protect. Smart play by him, but that's fine. This Flareon cannot take out my channel. Lord. He's going to go for my, what's it called? Flare Blitz on my Vickable. My Vickable, I think it can eat this up. I think can't eat it up. Let's see. No, it does not. But I, like I said, we're fine. My main, my main priority when I'm starting off with this team is to get that trick room off. Once I get that trick room off, we're thriving. We're chilling. So now we get first turn priorities for five turns. Our team is so slow. No one's really outspeeding it. So we're going to roll out into our Scrafty here. We're going to uh, actually go straight for that flare. And we're going to go for a Shadow Ball on that. What's it called? On that Gardevoir. Do some work on him. The Shadow Ball is going to pop out on that Gardevoir. What you want, Gardevoir? What you want? Shadow Ball coming at you. Ice Punch. Uh, now we're going to go for a nice little Drain Punch on this Flareon in case they deal damage to my Scrafty, which I... Oh, he's probably going to go for a Fairy move if he does survive. So hopefully we can one-tap this Gardevoir up. We maybe should have Dynamax. I think that's what he's going to do. I think he's going to Dynamax this Gardevoir. Try to take out my Scrafty. Nope. Flareon's going to go for the Protect, which is fine. I wish it... No, no. Never mind. I take what I, what I was going to say back. I was going to say, I wish when we protect it switches, but that would just defeat the whole purpose. Shadow Ball does pop out. Can we take out this Gardevoir here? Come on, show it to me. Bill, do some work. Let's go. Gardevoir is out of here. Saving my Scrappy. That's, that Gardevoir is probably going for like a Dazzling Gleam or something or a Moon Blast. All my Scrappy probably would have did some work on it. But like I said, now that we have this Trick Room set up, it's basically game over. It's basically game over. This team is this good. It's this good. I'm telling you guys, it is unreal. 
But now we're just gonna go straight for a heat wave on both these Pokemon, do a little bit of work. And then we're gonna go straight into a nice little drain punch on this Flareon. Let's go, guys. I can see him possibly uh, Dynamaxing. I can see him possibly Dynamax here, which again is fine by me. It is fine by me. We are rolling out with this team right here. Dynamax is gonna pop out, like I said. We got this. We in this guy's head. Big brain plays coming out here. Dude, Trick Room is so strong. But that is the reason I usually lead with that Chandelure is because it's Focus Ash. When it's Focus Ash, it has a higher chance of getting off that. What's it called? That Trick Room. The Hatterene is always good to have in the back, especially if you get a Trick Room off. You can always set up another one. Or you can always, uh, what's it called? She does work on a Trick Room. She's so slow. But Drain Punch is going to come out. Take him out. Let's go. Flareon is done here. And then now this Heat Wave is going to absolutely do some work on this. Uh, and our Moxie is going to go up. But our Heat Wave is going to do some work on this Darmanitan. Look at this, dude. We just outspeed and own it up. You avoided the attack. Yo, come on. Come on, man. This is a joke. He's going to take out my shit. Actually, we're Focus Sash. We're Focus Sash. We. Do we? We're going to actually uh, Dynamax our... What's it called? We're going to Dynamax our Scrafty here. Go into a Max Knuckle and just start raising our attack up. We're just going to start going through the roof here. Because we have that Moxie. Our Moxie just boosted it. Plus one. We'll take some Sandstorm damage. No problem at all. No problem at all. Oh, our Chandelure goes down. Dang it. Okay. We're chilling. We're still chilling. We're going to go into our Hatterene, I believe. I think our Hatterene's going to pop out here. Where do we go? Yeah. Our Hatterene's our last option. Hatterene is our last option. We might double up on this uh, Darmanitan, but we're definitely going to Dynamax our, what's it called? Our Scrafty here. We're going to Dynamax our Scrafty here. He's going to throw out his last Pokemon, which is a Hitmonchan. We're going to Dynamax going to Max Knuckle over on the left side to our Darmanitan. We're behind him, whatever we want. Oh, no, we're not. We're not doing that. We could go for a Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam does some work on both of them, but Psychic can just focus in. I think Dazzling Gleam will actually kill that Hitmonchan, so we're going to double up on that. Then we're going to Dynamax, go into a Max Knuckle on this Darmanitan and try to finish off this first game. Show it to me, baby. Show me this. We will outspeed. Like I said, I think we have two more turns left in the Trick Room. I think we have two. So that is perfect. That is perfect. Once you get these Trick Rooms set up. Oh, Lord. You're thriving. I told you guys. The team thrives under the Trick Room. Absolute units here. Absolute units here. Scrafty is a beast, too. He's Moxie. So when he gets hit with a physical... I think it's physical attacks. Or maybe it's both physical and special. But his attack does boost one level which is awesome which is awesome this thing is gonna actually do some work on that darmanitan and then dazzling gleam should take out that hitmon chan and do some work on that darmanitan so we could potentially have a double ko here right here hatterene is gonna go first she is the slowest oh no bullet punch okay that's fine he rolls with a bullet punch that is a priority move which is fine that's a thing does come out here oh it does not take out the hitmon chan i thought it would do more work i thought it would do more work max knuckles gonna pop out here let's go Take him out. Take him out here. Come on. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I thought Dazzle Gleam would have done more work on that Hitmonchan, but I guess not. It's all good, but our attack boosts up, and we're chilling in a 2-1 spot. I can see this guy hitting that run cancel button, and that is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. We're absolutely crushing it right now. Absolutely just crushing it. Working on these fools. Let's go. Moxie coming out. Moxie, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't want it. They don't want the sauce, guys. They don't want it at all. What's he gonna do? Show me that run. He's not gonna run. He's not gonna run. We're just gonna go straight. We're just gonna go for a psychic. I should have just went for the psychic and the uh, the what's it called? The max knuckle on Darmantan. Because Max Knuckle takes him out and the psychic probably would took him out. Here comes the mock punch. We'll eat that up. Oh, tasty buddy. We like those. We like those. And the psychic is gonna finish this game off. And that's how you start off double battles. Go up one. Oh, in this video. Actually, in my record, this was my first double battles in Sword and Shield, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But there we go. GG, baby. GG. Let's hop into battle number two. Let's go. Battle number two on its way. This guy's rocking the Raladon, Flygon, or Beetle, Vickabolt, Hatterene. I can see him running a Trick Room team. I can see him running a Trick Room team. This is actually going to be very, very tough. I think we're having a mirror matchup here with the Trick Rooms. And he's rocking the Tox Pack. So with all those trick rooms going on, I'm definitely bringing in my Hatterene. My Hatterene's going to pop off here. So Hatterene might lead the front spot. Hatterene's so slow. That's that's what's good about it. We're going to go Hatterene. We're going to go Rhyperior, Vickavolt, and a Scrafty. That is the plan. We're going to roll out with all those Pokemon right here because Fire doesn't do too much damage. We're going to rock out with the Vickavolt in the front spot. And then do we go with the Hatterene? I say we go with the Hatterene in the front spot. Because I'm going to predict them going with the trick room. I'm going to predict them going with the trick room. And then just going straight into an attack. I think that is the play. 
I think that is the play. This is going to be tough because Orb Beetle can send a Trick Room. I think Duraludon can send a Trick Room. But I know that Hatrine's probably rocking Trick Room. But the reason we are rocking that uh, Vic Volt in that front spot is for that Toxapec. Got to get that thing out the way early on. Maybe I should have rolled out with my Rhyperior instead of Hadrine. So if I could, so maybe if he was going with the Orb Beetle and the what's called and the Toxapec, I can throw a Discharge and hit everything and it wouldn't affect my Rhyperior. But yeah, we are chilling, dude. We are chilling. What's this guy want? What's this guy want? He's probably confused because I was confused too. I was like, whoa, dude, we're both Rocket Trick Room teams. This is going to be crazy. That's why I only brought in my Hatterene. I usually lead with my Chandelure if I'm trying to set up the Trick Room because that's easier to do than the Hatterene. But since this guy is rocking his Trick Room team, I'm actually just going to rock out without the Chandelure. Hatterene rolling in that fun spot. Let's, But let's see what he actually does. Let's see how he goes out in the beginning. I can see him starting off with that Orb Beetle and possibly that Toxapec. That's my call. Let's see. Let's see what he does. There goes that Toxic Spike and the Orb Beetle. Like I said. Like I said. But I'm going to say he goes for a Trick Room. I'm going to say he goes for that Trick Room. With that Orb Beetle. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say he goes for a Trick Room. We're going to we're gonna follow through with a T-Bolt right on that Toxic Spike. I can see that thing actually going for a Baneful Bunker. So we're just going to go right for a Psychic on... Oh. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. If he does go for a Baneful Bunker... I'm fine by it. We're going for a Bug Buzz on this Orb Beetle. And we're going to go straight for a Psychic to rock out on this. What's it called? On this Tox Spec. Because if he does go for a Baneful Bunker, we are rocking Magic Bounce. We'll bounce that Poison right back at him. But the Light Screen does come out here. Light Screen does come out here, which is fine. Maybe we should have rocked out with a Trick Room. That would have been nice. But Bug Buzz does come out. He's just rocking some slow Pokemon. So we're chilling. Bug Buzz comes out here. We'll be able to do some work. That probably would have killed him without that. Oh, Toxic does come out here too. Toxic does come out here. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. I thought he was going to go for a Baneful Bunker, but no big deal. No big deal. Psyche's going to pop off here. Do some work on him. Take him out. Toxpec, bye-bye. Oh, lucky crit, baby. But I take those. We take those, baby. <laughs> but we're chilling. He's got that poison on our Vicar Bolt, which is not, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. I seriously am fine with that. Let's see who he actually rocks out into. We might try to set up a Trick Room. Because if he tries to take out my Vicar Bolt, that's fine. But I don't know if we should set up a Trick Room. His Pokemon are kind of slow. Nah, dude, let's set up a Trick Room. Let's set up a Trick Room here. We're going to go into yet another Bug Buzz onto this Orb Beetle right here. And we're going to go into a Trick Room. Let's set this up, baby. Let's set up this Trick Room. Imagine if he goes for a Trick Room. I'd be like, bruh. I'd be like, bruh. But okay, we're fine. We're fine, dude. Vicar Bolt is sick, dude. It's sick. I, I'm, I feel like he's going to Dynamax that Flygon. Does not. He's going to Ally Switch. What does that do? What does Ally Switch do? Oh, switch play. That is cool. That is cool. Considering that's actually fine by me. That's actually fine by me. We can set up this Trick Room. Both these Pokemon do outspeed us. So Trick Room is going to come up clutch for the next turn. Smart play by him to go for that ally switch. But it's fine. We're rocking Trick Room. Both our Pokemon will be faster than their Pokemon in the next turn. We're just going to go for the Bug Buzz here. Take out. Even if he ally switches, I believe we will take him out. But the Toxic, the toxic is going to start doing work on us. Bug Buzz is coming out. We'll go right to this Orb Beetle, and then we're just going to go Dazzling Gleam on both of them. Finishing up this match, basically. This match is basically over. This match is basically over. I can see him scooping after this turn. After this turn, I can see him scooping. Do, 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 do. We swooped on you. Do, do, do. We swooped on you. You stink, buddy. Dan, da, dan, 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 dan. Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. Bye, bye. Boom. Let's go. See you later, Fly Gun. And then this Bug Buzz will come out and finish off this Orb Beetle. And then this guy's going to lead the match. We already know what's happening. Look at, look how good this team is. Like, it's just complete domination. I never dominated with a team more than this. More than this. Like, it, it's crazy. I played with this team earlier because I actually tried recording this. And my Elgato messed up. So I recorded for like an hour and a half doing this. Getting some matches in and all that. And it, it just didn't record my uh, the background noise. Like the video game noise. Which was crazy. So we actually got a lot of practice in. And this team just dominates. It just dominates and does so much work. It's crazy. It's crazy how strong this team is. We're just going to rock into a Psychic and actually finish off this game. I see this guy actually leaving. I see this guy actually leaving. Battle was cancelled like I said. But I was just looking at the timer. We only actually played. Like it took us to like pick our moves. 46 seconds. 46 seconds that whole battle and we just dominated and crushed it third and final battle coming at you guys this guy's rocking a pelper oh a gudra i love gudra but i never see teams from gudra lucario raichu ludicolo and that whimsicott and that whimsicott 
Um, with all that going on, with all that going on, I'm definitely putting my Vicka Bolt in that front spot. Vicka Bolt is going to come out here, and we're going to lead that Hatterene. Or do we lead that Chandler? I just don't want to. I think it's going to lead that either that Pelipper or and the Ludicolo, and they'll just murk all my what's it called, my Chandler. So we're going to go in with the Vicka Bolt Hatterene, Scrafty in the back end. And Rhyperior. And Rhyperior. I think that is the play call. I think that is the play call. But Vickable is definitely going to come in here. Hatterene rocking that front spot. Rhyperior. Hopefully we can show him off. And we got that Scrafty. We should be able to show off Rhyperior in this battle. Rhyperior is so good. We might not be able to show off Togekiss. Considering Togekiss is like a uh, a certain matchup Pokemon. It's rocking Encore. What is it? Encore Protect. Follow me. And Air Slash. So like teams that can just eat up Air Slashes. Like this team right here. Like that Guja could eat it up. Same thing with that Lucario. I don't really want to bring him in too much because I see him bringing in those Pokemon. And that Raichu eats it up. It's like it doesn't do too much for me. I would rather just go off into like my Chandelure or maybe my Rhyperior. Like it's just a better option. But Tokus does have his place in his team. It is definitely well worth it to have this Tokus on his team rather than something else. But here we go. Rocking out here. Ludicolo and Guja does pop out here. Ludicolo and, Ber and Guja. Okay. That's fine. We're going to rock into a T-Bolt right onto that Ludicolo. Right off the bat, and we're going to rock into a Trick Room to get things started here. To get things started. Where do we go with the Bug Buzz? Oh yeah, Bug Buzz going on that Ludicolo. And then the Trick Room. No, no, not a Psychic. Trick Room coming out here. Well, if we get this Trick Room off, we'll just go into Dazzling Gleam. We'll be able to slap up on that Guja. Say Night Night. But let's see, he's going to go straight for the Dynamax. Straight for it with that Guja, right? Is that with that Guja? Yeah, and I think he's going to try to take out our Hatterene here. I think he's gonna try to take out our Hatterene. Gujra's so cool. Look at it, it's just like dripping ooze. Look at his hands and his chin. It's just dripping this green ooze off of it. Such a cool Pokemon, dude. I love Gujra. I love him. Let's go. All we gotta do is eat up a hit here. Who's gonna go first? Ludicolo goes for a fake out on our. No! On our Hatterene. That's a tough call here. Oh, Ludicolo is life orbed. Okay. That's actually nice. Gujra's gonna take out our Vickable. Gonna take out our Vickable here. No! Okay, okay. Don't flinch. Uh, he's going to flinch. Hatterene's going to flinch. But, dude, we got to get off that Trick Room. We got to get off that Trick Room. That's the thing. Like, Trick Room's got to go. Okay, we flinched. Couldn't move. We're going to roll into it. We're going to roll into a Rhyperior. I say we do roll into a Rhyperior. We go into a Dynamax Rhyperior right off the bat. No matter what. And we're going to go into that Max Hailstorm. Right on that Gudra. Because if any of them uh, tee off on our weakness policy, we will be chilling. We will be chilling. And we're going to get off this Trick Room. No, not Psychic. Oh my god, I thought it was just going to go off. But Trick Room, going to try again here. Going to try again for that Trick Room. But smart play, by, smart play by him to go for that Fake Out. To go for that Fake Out. That was really smart. Let's go, dude. Shiny Ludicolo. That thing's gorgeous, baby. That thing's gorgeous, dude. I love how it looks. Let's go. Let's see what he does. So we're going to Dynamax. He's probably... I'm hoping that Ludicolo hits us or something. They might double up on us. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. If they double up on us, we have potential of dying. But if we can get this Trick Room off, we can do some absolute work. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Our Dynamax is going to pop off here. I think he's just going to go for a... What's it called? I think the Guja is going to come after us. No, I think they're going to double up on our Rhyperior, to be honest with you guys. I think they're going to go probably for a Max Geyser from his Guja. And a, like, Energy Ball from the... What's it called? From the... Ludicolo. Because I think this thing's rocking Max Geyser to set up a Swift Swim. Let's see. Max Wormwind's gonna pop out here on who? On who? Um, okay, on my right period, that's fine. That is fine. We eat that up. Come on. What's that drop? That drops our attack, which is fine. Drops our Hatterene's attack. Lucky she's special attack. And Scald's gonna come out here. Eat that up, eat it up. Let's go, dude. Weakness policy pops off. We have this trick room. We'll be able to take out that Gujra no problem next turn. No problem. We are chilling. We're chilling, guys. We are chilling. Unless a fake out kills us, but I highly doubt a fake out kills us. Let's go. Do some work on him. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Weakness policy takes him out. Okay, okay. I'm liking where we're sitting. I'm liking where we're sitting. Like I said, once you get that trick room set up, you're in a good spot. So basically the rest of the game, we're gonna outspeed. We're gonna start doing some work. And our weakness policy has gone off on that what's it called? On our right period. But the buffet's gonna maybe take us out, so we gotta switch that weather. We gotta switch that weather. We have to switch the weather. Hatterene's going to get buffed it. We can take one buffet by the... Uh, the Rhyperior can take one buffet here. But he cannot take another one. So that's why I, I said we have to switch the weather. That's why I said we have to switch the weather. Hey, who is... Who else is he rocking? Is this all of our Pokemon left? No, we have Rhyperior and we have Scrafty. We have Scrafty rocking in the back end, which is huge, dude. Scrafty's so good. Raichu's going to come out here. Raichu is going to come out here. He's fun with Air Balloon. 
And we're gonna go into a Max Rockfall, change up into a Sandstorm right on this uh, Raichu. Right on this Raichu. Maybe he's rocking Quick Attack. But we're gonna go straight for a Psychic on this Ludicolo. Start taking him down in some health. But we will outspeed unless he's rocking maybe Quick Attack or something else. But the reason I am changing it to Sandstorm is because he doesn't take damage with it. Raichu is gonna go for the fake out that Hunk of Junk. We eat it up. We eat it up, but we might flinch here. No, I don't. We might not flinch. Henry is gonna go for the Psychic. Take out this Ludicolo. Do some work. Beautiful, we get that crit on that Ludicolo, and boom! Raichu is out of here, dude. Raichu is out of here. Let's go. Let's go, dude, let's get it. Pop this air balloon, and night, night, dude. Night, night, baby. That's what I like to see. That's what we like to see. Change it to that sandstorm. Now we're chilling, dude. That's basically a victory in the bag. A victory in the bag. Let's get it, guys, let's go. Let's keep rolling out here. We, he just has the Whimsicott left in his party. And we'll be able to rock out here and eat him up. We'll be able to rock out and eat him up. Just go into a max Hailstorm. He's just going to leave the battle. No doubt in my mind, he leaves the battle. We're just going go to go into a Shadow Ball. And guys, look how dominating this team has been. He does not leave the battle. He's just going to take this like a man. He's going to take it like a man. We're going to say Night Night. I'm sorry, Whimsicott. I'm sorry, Whimsicott. But that is the game. That is how it's done. That's what we like to see. Built, 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 built. Boom. Complete and utter domination with this team. Like, it's unreal. How dominating this team is. So good in doubles ladder. You guys should definitely try it out with yourselves using this rifle code. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just shredding the competition. Just shredding it. That is how it's done, yo. Absolutely crushed those battles with this team. Here's one last look at this team if you want to rent it for yourself. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Like, this is one of my favorite doubles teams I have ever played. Rocket Double Trick Room. Like I said, once you get that set up, it is game over. It is game over. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What is your favorite mainline Pokemon game? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.